Introduction Currently, any organization is interested in attracting and retaining highly qualified personnel. Therefore, the process of hiring and selecting personnel for vacant positions is one of the most important issues and a primary task in the context of personnel management system. A well-organized process of selecting the necessary specialists will allow the organization to close all vacancies in a short time and attract personnel who will meet all the requirements of the company. Thus, the importance lies in the fact that HR specialists need to pay a lot of attention and time to the recruitment and selection of new employees. My recommendations are to emphasize employee training and dedicate more attention to exploiting modern recruiting platforms, such as social media platforms. Recruiting and Retention Process Analysis Since candidates for positions in commercial structures of the Coca-Cola company use the Internet, in order to respond to positions through the network, the HR service places vacancies on different sources. After the interview, work with applicants for the position of sales representative is carried out with the help of a special program, which includes additional stages of several types of testing. Tests are used to identify the characteristics inherent in the applicant and include a questionnaire and test of mathematical abilities. The next stage is an interview with the head of a group of sales representatives in a real market. After the interview with the supervisor, the candidate gets acquainted with the specifics of the position and real work together with a sales representative. In the end, the company can draw conclusions about whether a candidate is suitable for the position, whether he correctly assesses the risks, and whether he is really interested in it. One of the strong sides of the company's recruiting system is that it has developed various adaptation programs for all employees. For instance, e-learning, where a new employee, after going to work, gets acquainted with an introductory electronic course, which contains information about the history of the company and general information. Next, an induction plan, for managers, sets out plans for a new employee during the probationary period and evaluation criteria and marks all mentors who will be able to support him on issues related to any processes. Another program is mentoring, for production and logistics employees, where during the month, the new employee does not work independently. Each of his shifts takes place together with a mentor. Based on the results of this period, the company concludes how ready he is for independent work. The company organizes training during the trial period for employees of the commercial department. Sales representatives are constantly out of the office, so they need outside support. Two pieces of training that the company conducts in the first three months of employees' work are aimed at different tasks. First, training that introduces newcomers to the specifics of the work of their department directly. In addition, the introductory sales training on the company's standards and the basics of client work. Besides the advantages, the company has one aspect which could be improved and that is promoting vacancies on social media and portals. Coca-Cola currently does not organize such actions which may result in the loss of professionals that look for the job on social channels. Key Result Talent management in Coca-Cola is a strategic direction that covers all HR processes. The results of the strategy are high employee engagement and retention. The company is looking for those people who, thanks to their approach, courage, and adaptability, are able to take a step forward and do something special. The employee recruiting process is oriented towards business results, learning ability, and mobility. Coca-Cola analyses how successful is the employee in his current role and whether he returned the investments that the company made in his development. The company also emphasizes its values when hiring an external candidate, the factor of corporate values of his past employer is necessarily taken into account. Employee engagement is one of the key results because commitment and motivation affect key metrics. In addition, Comfortable working conditions allow you to retain employees and develop continuity and transfer of experience. The company has three types of evaluation centers, which are assessment centers, acceleration centers, and development centers. The assessment center provides an evaluation of candidates, external and internal, for a specific vacancy. Acceleration centers control the assessment of an employee's potential for a next-level role including group centers, 
where qualifications at the level of departments from different countries are confirmed and potential candidates for the level of general managers are determined. Finally, development centers evaluate an employee in relation to the current role, it helps to identify development areas and check the level of competence development. For greater objectivity, the company often uses the services of third-party providers offering assessment services. Conclusion In conclusion, Coca-Cola has quite extensive employee recruitment and retention system. It includes a number of different training and development programs for current and potential employees. The company implements various tests to assess the knowledge and skills of the workers, which contributes to the high competence of the team members. Coca-Cola has a large human resource sector that is divided into several departments. Such division of tasks related to recruitment allows the departments to provide more precise and detailed work results. StudyCorgi.com has everything you need for successful studies. Writing tools, informative articles, and essay samples. Come check it out.